MGA's you know, resilience has shown through over the last 18, 20 months or, or during the pandemic. You know, MGA's you know, grew their distribution, wrote more new business, retained more new business because they filled that gap and that vacuum which insurers, due to their size and nature, took time to adjust to, to the pandemic. Yeah, the MGA membership race is very bold and you know, I think that actually is very healthy for our community. So we have some very, very large MGAs who've got you know, all the infrastructure which they need to operate in their market. But similarly, we've got smaller and startup MGAs who where the association itself can tailor it, the needs for those sort of newer, smaller type members with our proposition, as well as supporting what the larger MGAs do. The MJA's plans for the next 12 months you know, centre around improving and increasing the professional standards of the MGA community. So we'll be introducing more training tools and packages. We're also introducing a technical underwriting forum which has been well supported by our insurer members. We're also going to be introducing an MGA app. You know, we're going to have that linked to our sort of a back office from that perspective. But overall, the key thing is that we will be led by the membership in terms of what they want. We will look to raise the professional standards of sort of the community through any, any ways and means we can. We will continue to lobby and align ourselves with sort of industry bodies for the benefit of our members. And it's going to be a very busy and exciting year.